His name is Jude Go. Jude Go, he holding the window, window side, and then, because so many people in the room. He holding and he wish oh, that preacher, Apostle Paul, he stopped preaching. But he continued preaching and all night, so tired. And unfortunately, he fell on the floor and he died. Have you seen somebody in London or UK or somewhere, somebody, some pastor preaching too long? You know? <laughs> and somebody died. <laughs> no, nobody died. Yeah. And we done whole day yeah. preaching whole day in our street, and then we was doing Pastor Paul was doing some disciple of the Jesus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was praying for the table, two o'clock night time, and Pastor Paul was still going. Around. I think he's a Paul. He was he himself tired, but he was preaching and preaching, preaching. One guy, oh, when he stopped, he Paul on the floor, he died. Then somebody died. What Paul did, he go downstairs and pray for him, he lived the life again. That is very fun, funny or <laughs> very interesting. And then, you know, Paul, he want to show his example. You preaching in the morning for one week or two weeks? Two weeks, two weeks when I was in Africa. Eh? Yeah. Did you enjoy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> very, hard. very hard. Very hard. It's by the Holy Spirit. Can you imagine all my life I wake up by 5.10 and 5.20 and I come to church by 6 o'clock. And then it's like my body system is now, is a, you know, so used to do. Yeah. And then I wake up. But I enjoy it. I love it. For me, when I left my home 5.30 .30, and then all day long stay in the, in the, in the, in the, in the church and go back to home around 10 o'clock and sometimes 11 o'clock. And today I have the two meeting at eight o'clock for Israel Israel dinner mission. I need to go back to home before eight o'clock <laughs> to have a Jew meeting. And um, I think this is a privilege to serving Jesus with the whole heart How many how many of you happy to serving Jesus with the whole heart yeah. It's wonderful, wonderful. Jesus was so busy but he didn't have time to to eat. How many of you experienced you didn't have time to eat? Because you're so busy for Jesus. I did. Yeah, only by the grace of God. Yeah, only by the grace of God. And then, and then, where are you now? Did you let the, uh, with the Thessalonians uh, intimidation also? No, however. Okay, however, it is only correspondence between the post life and way of Christ that provides the base of imitation, the link he makes uh, expectly on several occasions. 1 Corinthians 4, 16, 17. Therefore I urge you to imitate me. For this reason I am sending to you Timothy, my son whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. He will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees with what I teach everywhere in every church. He urged them, please imitate me. And chapter 11, verse 1, we read it so many times. <laughs> Did I follow the example of Jesus? Be followers of me, even as I am also in Christ. Amen. Amen. And Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 and 5. 3 to 5. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain <coughs> conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Mm. Not looking to your own interests, yeah. but each of you to the interests of others. Mm. Verse 5. Uh, in your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. You are the same mindset with Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, you add to the same. Yeah, and then can you can you looking for interest of others? Yeah, if you looking for the interest of others, you are a very mature. Anybody knows my interest? <laughs> Winning the, the soul. Yeah, thank you very much. You are the one to join together in me to <laughs> preach the gospel. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know your interest now. You're winning the soul for Jesus. I think you started preaching two weeks ago. Well, you know, now it's getting better. And then in the beginning, you know the John 3.16, but it's like empty. 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 Because the first time preaching, and I said, focus all of the word. 
and, uh, and uh, praise God. And look, and uh, Romans 15, 23. Those who uh, ins insults you, oh God, have fallen on me. Yeah, build up one another. Yeah, yeah. And Paul was a model of leadership, or example, which he set. Can you underline? Paul was a model of leadership. It's amazing. You know, not many people in the Bible say, "Follow my example, follow my you know, model." I'm your mother. Imitate me. As I imitate of Jesus. Who say that? Brother, is it Peter say that? James say that? Timothy say that? Or, or Luke say that? Or Matthew say that? No. Only Paul. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Paul say, imitate me. I urge you. Yeah? Imitate me. Why? Because he showed a good example. Actually, the best way to leading the people Show the example. Show me your example, and I'll follow you. Do you know what Jesus said? Follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Follow me means you need to follow my example. Follow my lifestyle. Follow my gentleness, my humility. Follow my servant heart. Paul said, follow my example as I follow Jesus. Yeah, this is very important. Yeah, and then Paul was a model of leadership, for example, which he said, uh, "Elevate uh, 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 in perfect imitation of Christ." Can you underline imitation of Christ? He also present other people's as a worthy model for imitation, which also undermines the charge that he is called for imitation were uh, manipulative and self-seeking. Some of the lead from a second Corinthians chapter eight, verse one to seven. Read uh, louder, yeah. yeah. Now I want you to know, dear brothers and sisters, what God in His kindness has done through the churches in Macedonia. They are being tested by many troubles and they are very poor, but they are also filled with abundant joy which have overflowed in rich generosity. For I can testify that they gave not only what they could uh, afford, but far, far more, and they did, did it for their own free will. They begged us again and again for the privilege of sharing in the gift of the believers in Jerusalem. They even uh, did more than we did hope. We had hope. For their first action was to give themselves to the Lord and to us, just as God wanted them to do. So, we have urged Titus, who encourage your giving in the first place, to return to you and encourage you to finish this ministry of giving. Since you excel in so many ways in your faith, in your gifted speakers and your knowledge, your enthusiasm and your love from us, I want you to excel also in the gracious act of giving. Amen. Yeah, you can show your good example. And Philippians 3.17, please. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters. And just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who, who live as we do. He always said, oh, follow my example. I already show you. Can you show, can you follow me? Jesus, I know who you are through fruit. Jesus showed so many beautiful fruit. The, you and me are fruit of Jesus, yeah? And then fruit of disciples. Fruit of in all the apostles, they go to all of the world to preach the gospel. Personal reflection on Paul's leadership. Paul's leadership was a God enabled and spirit led, word based and cross of shepherd and deeply religious. He provided the example for believers to follow. Yeah. These <laughs> distinctive are not unrelevant. The command factor is the gospel. So the common fact is a gospel. Can you underline 
common factor is the gospel, gospel-based le- leadership. The message of the life, death and resurrection of God's Son, Jesus Christ, the power of God for the salvation of all people, and the means by which God is gathering a people to himself. Paul was a servant in the task. Somebody read for me. 1 Corinthians Corin- chapter 3 verse 5. What after all is Apollos, and what is Paul? Only <laughs> servants through whom you came to believe. The Lord has assigned to each his task. Yes. Do you know we are just servant? What Paul said, I am planted, and Apollos watered it. What does it mean? Who is the planted? Planted means you preach the gospel and uh, somebody give their life to Jesus. And the watering, what is watering? Nurturing. Nurturing, which is uh, give them word of the law and uh, like Bible study and prayer meeting and they grow. Do you know best way to, 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 to see the powerful transformation when you preach the gospel and people there accept the Lord Jesus and they need to come to church? these newcomers and then you are the one to nurture them you are the one to support them for them and they grow they can settle in the church and they grow and then become mature men of God this is the best way for example over two years ago I preached the gospel on the street and then sister Sami she become born again when she gave her life to Jesus and then she started to come to church you know that for six months she was disturbing Oh, when I was preaching, she's screaming and shouting and come and go, and then swollen and F word, whatever, it's terrible. Oh, I think some, some of our members, uh, I can need their, their mind, some of our members, I come to our church to worship in God, but because of this lady <laughs> is disturbing the service, I wish this woman stopped to come to church. I can see. I still remember we used to have the 135 uh, attendance average in, in Brixton area. We used the school assembly hall. And then among the 135, do you know how many people from the street, homeless, and drug and alcoholic? 28. 28 people come to the, our church and worshiping God in the summertime. Summertime is so hot. These homeless, drug and alcoholic, they worshiping God like this, shaking like this. Smell was terrible in the church in some summertime. And uh, one, one, of our, our, one of our lady, after the service, she came to me, Pastor Paul, I come to our church to receive the more peace, but I lose my peace. What does it mean? You lose your peace. You don't know? Smell was terrible, look. I cannot concentrate to, to serving, worshiping Jesus. So strong smell. Oh, she asked me, what should I do? 28 people, homeless, smell was so terrible. They shaking their body like this. Uh, the smell come out from all their body. <laughs> terrible. Because if, if newcomers come, they never want to come back to our church. Because of strength, so strong smelly. And then I asked her, if you are Jesus, how you, how you respond? She think about that. Yeah, if I'm Jesus, I, I may, I may, I may worship God together with this homeless. Please do it. Do you understand what is my point? But we have to support him for these people. Yeah. So many churches are so selfish. So many churches so selfish. And then in the church, uh, uh, we need uh, all kind of people, all kind of tribes, languages, drug and alcohol. You can. See all kind of people. Even we love to see the, you know, like uh, solicitor, doctors, lawyers, and um, you know, accountant. All these people they can come. We have some, you know, accountants. We have some solicitors, and thanks be to God. <coughs> but we need the uh, all mix together, all mix. Look at you, note. This is why Paul was appointed as an apostle. Why God equipped him and directed him in the task. Why Paul's message had to conform to the gospel first to preach it? Why his life uh, conformed to the self-sacrificial, weak and foolish cross of Christ? And why his leadership could not conform to the models in the world around him? 
but uh, exercise only for the sake of others and for the glory of God. Can you underline? For the sake of others and for the glory of God. Paul said, for to me live is Christ. Yeah? But I scan. Why he live in this world? For you guys. I love to be with him. To die is again. But while I stay here, because of you guys. He speak like that. In the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. Even though our circumstances are different to Paul's. These are the very things that should sharp our own exercise of leadership. In whatever sharp uh, spell God give us. The goals and ambitions that should motivate us and that measures we should use when assessing the leadership or leadership potential of others. At the heart of it all is the glorious cross of Christ. Can you at the heart of it all is the glorious cross of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Only by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ we are in here. And they preach the gospel. Any comment? Any question? Yes. Shall you pray together, Lord? Help us. As we imitate the Lord Jesus Christ. Anybody around us, my family, my friend, and anybody who knows me, they are willing to follow Jesus through my life. Shall you pray together? Just one minute you can pray together. Father, we thank you. Paul said, I urge you, can you imitate me? I follow Jesus. As I follow Jesus, you can follow me. And Jesus said, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Father, I ask you, and give us your grace and your mercy. And then by the glorious, uh, glorious cross of Lord Jesus Christ, we have imitated Lord Jesus Christ. And we imitate the Lord Jesus Christ, the people they imitate us, they will see the image of Jesus in our life. Jesus, we love you, bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give the cloud for the Lord Jesus, bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, bless you.